guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well and I hope life is treating you good. Why do I have some Scooby-Doo sausages on my desk? You might be wondering. Well, you wouldn't be wondering because it wasn't in the frame of the camera. But I have Scooby-Doo sausages because the pups really like these. They've just had one eaten. I get them from B&M and they really like them. There she is. Where's your Henry? Is he causing trouble? Henry's upstairs, bloody, probably tearing a pillow, pillow pieces or something. I shouldn't joke, because he probably is. Anyway, how are you all doing? I haven't done a come shop with me in a while, and I thought I would just do one today, because I actually have quite a bit of shopping that I need to do. So basically, March is probably the busiest month ever for me in, in, in the entire year, because I have my Nana's birthday, which is the 3rd of March, and then I have my sister Dolly's birthday, well, she's a dog, but like, do you know when you call your dog your sisters? Like, they're my children, and Dolly's my sister, and my contact lens is irritating us. But yeah, her birthday's on the 12th of March, Sean's birthday's on the 13th of March, and then my mum's partner Neil's birthday's on the 15th of March, and then at the end of March, it's Mother's Day. So March is always like the busiest month for me in terms of birthdays, having to get presents and stuff like that. So I'm going to do a come shop with me because I need to go shopping. I need to try and get my mum some bits for Mother's Day because the week before Mother's Day, I am actually away with Sean and the pups, which will all be vlogged for the second channel. And we're also now doing weekly vlogs on the second channel. The first one went up last Sunday, which I'll have it linked below if you haven't seen it. I'd really appreciate it if you go and watched it and there'll be one every single Sunday which I'm so excited about like honestly I really enjoyed filming the first one so I hope it's something that I'm going to keep up. I want to try and be advanced with like the Mother's Day stuff and make sure that I get it in early because I don't want to come back from holiday and give myself like two days to have to go and get stuff and then obviously Sean's birthday so I have gotten like his main gift that he asked for but I need like I always call them stocking fillers but it's not Christmas but like I need these little bits and bobs. Yeah I've just got loads of bits and bobs that I need to go and get and I thought I'll take you along shopping with us and we'll will come shop with me because he's used to love them and I haven't done one in a while so we'll save it's still something that he's like. Got a feeling Henry's doing something really naughty that he shouldn't be doing. <gasps> Henry! He's found <laughs> under the bed. I have special teddies from like that I've like literally had from my childhood and Henry has found them. No Henry! They're mom's special teddies! Good job I came and seen because if I'd come upstairs and one of them had been shredded to bits, I wouldn't be happy. Before I do head off shopping, I would like to let you know that this video is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare. I'm so excited to be working with Skillshare. I worked with them probably about six months ago for the first time ever and ever since then I've used the platform and I really, really enjoy using Skillshare. If you're not sure what Skillshare is or if you've never heard of them before and you want to know a little bit more information, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring and creative classes for anybody. So if you have an interest Skillshare is the first place to start because more than likely there's going to be a class on there for you. If you love learning new things or want to develop a skill that you feel like you have or if you've recently found something that you really enjoy doing Skillshare can enhance your knowledge through online classes and I think it's really important that we make 2022 the year that we invest in ourselves and our personal growth and I think there's nothing more important than knowledge because at the end of the day to me knowledge is key. I actually took a course the other day called Email Marketing Essentials. This is the exact course here, Email Marketing Essentials, Writing Effective Emails by Kate Kiefer Lee and it was really really informative I've been doing this job full time for four years now and although I do have a management who I really appreciate and help me out a lot with my marketing and ads and stuff like that I feel like it's always important for me to have a good background knowledge on how to approach brands and how to talk to brands because I still do have one-to-one -one contact with some brands that I worked with prior to working with my management but also I still do gifted campaigns myself as well and they are something that I would deal with one-on-one -on -one with a brand so e email marketing essentials was a class that was really beneficial for for me I really enjoyed doing it and I had so much fun learning and I think that's the most important thing there's so many things in the world that you could learn about that you could develop a skill about and honestly a lot of the time learning can be really fun and I definitely found a lot of the skills share classes to be really fun and super super informative the really really exciting part of this video though is you can actually get one month for three using Skillshare if you click the link in the description now it is only valid for the first 1,000 people who click the link so be sure that you do right away click it so that you can get a free month using Skillshare honestly if you think like of a month all the classes you could take in a month and learn it's honestly phenomenal you could your knowledge after a month could be like pfft. 
So make sure you click the link below if you do feel like you want to learn something or if you want to develop a skill or anything like that and just see if there's any classes that float your boat. For the month if you find that Skillshare isn't for you it is free just to cancel or if you would like to continue learning and taking classes on Skillshare then it will only be around $10 a month. One of the classes that I've really been interested in doing and I have actually saved it to do is a class about everyday minimalism. If you watch Daily Dose of Us which is my second vlog and channel you'll know that on one of the vlogs recently I talked about being a little overwhelmed by stuff that I had in the house. This course would be really beneficial for me and of course that I should do. The course is by a lovely lady called Erin Boyd. I'm really excited to give it a go. Let's have a little watch of it together now. Just so you can get an idea of what the classes look like as well. Minimalism, which for me is finding peace by living simply. My approach to minimalism is not about taking everything that you own and putting it into a black garbage bag and starting fresh. I'm really excited to sit down with a cup of tea later and actually give the class a good watch. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly tell you about Skillshare before we go shopping. Now that I have done that, I think it's time we go shopping! Guys, look at this range of diner dog foods. We've got like a mini hot dog. I was thinking on getting Henry and Una one each. Um, there's no raw hide in them because I've checked. The ingredients don't have any raw hide, but they actually look really cute. Um, so they have like burgers. Do these ones have raw hide? No, they don't either. They're just like a mix of stuff and then fries. And then actually a doggy pizza. Why do I think this is like the cutest thing ever? This Scooby range that b and do I really like as well. So you can get like your doggy chocolate, doggy chocolate buttons and peanut butter and milk chocolate. And then they do loads of like training treats as well. Um, but Henry and Luna really like these sausages. They actually really like them and they're only £1.79. So I'm going to pick some of these up and get four in a pack. If you don't know, get to know this Lotus Biscoff spread is the best thing ever. And it's accidentally vegan. And for a quid, honestly, it's unreal. You need to get some. I love how cheap the cans of pop off from B&M. Like, look at this. Vimto, 39 pence. 49 pence for Fanta. I always pick a selection up for the fridge. Just because they're so handy to have in. And I really like having pop in that I can just grab and go. These would be so good at summer barbecues. I might get one for Sean for his birthday. Because then he can obviously use it in the hut. I've just seen Fabulosa. I have started doing tumble dryer sheets for £1.49. And um, the Lenore ones are the ones I would usually get for £1.99. But they're actually not a cruelty free brand as far as I'm aware. So I'm going to start getting the Fabulosa ones because they are. I've picked up a pack of these ones which are Fresh Breeze because I really like that scent. And then I've also seen the um, laundry cleanser. I always get this. I love it. And it's £1.99 for quite a big bottle. Henry and Luna are well doing a treasure hunt. Treasure hunt kit for dogs made from like dog chocolate six eggs i am so getting these and we are so gonna do a treasure hunt in the garden call is an extra dog man but i'm sorry that is adorable so this is in b m for 5.99 they have this satin brilliant white non-yellow and lifetime whiteness for interior woodwork and metal and they also have the non-drip gloss i'm gonna pick up one of these for the little project I'm doing in the ensuite um, because I actually think that's a really good price. Okay guys, I'm now going in to TK Maxx. The man in B&M was so lovely. You could say I was in a great kerfuffle and he like offered to help us like empty my basket and that. It was just so nice, right? I'm going in to TK Maxx and I'm really struggling for what to get shown because I feel like his birthday is not for after Christmas and I've already got him like the bath sets and stuff that I would usually get him for his birthday. Like, I feel like I get in the same stuff all the time. He's so hard to buy for. Does anyone else find men just really hard to buy for? I'm going to go into TK Maxx max and save anything like catches my eye for him <sighs> yeah sean you're so fucking hard to buy for love Don't get me wrong, I love TK Maxx, right? But the RRP on there says 64.99. I'm not being funny, but when has two Olea creams in a little bag come to 64 pounds? Like, I just don't believe the RRP sometimes. We're in Poundland now, my favourite. I really like this with a little fake flower. I think it's a nice added touch and it's in the scent fresh linen. It's three pounds. 
they've got this gorgeous marble effect vase I really like this it's quite big as well but it doesn't really match my interior but it is only four pound and have lots of little fake pads I honestly love the pet and co range I really like the vase on that it looks like beigey and then they have like a swan statue this which is actually really cute with the white and the silver and then this I actually really like this swirl ornament five pound how gorgeous look at this leopard dress oh my god it's got little cami tie arms I really love this so much and it's only £6 as well. Honestly guys, have a look at Pet & Co's like, clothing range. Look at that leopard rain jacket, that is a bit of me. And they also have a leopard skirt, which again, I really, really like. Oh, and this, this is even so pretty. How gorgeous is this pattern? It's like swirls. I really like this as well for £6. I feel like this is something I'd really wear. This is so pretty. Should we do a clothing haul from Pep and Co? Let us know if you want to say that. Let's look at this set. Wide leg pants in like this gorgeous nude colour. You can get a little cropped cami. And then you can also get a cardigan to match. Are you joking me? Why do I want to pick stuff up and do a haul? A beige um, t-shirt dress. Five pounds. Imagine the ways you could style that. I really did not expect the clothing bit to have this much stuff and now I'm like thinking in my head do I buy loads of stuff to do a clothing haul or no. By the way guys I am voiceover in this segment that's why my bloody mouth doesn't match because I got copyright claimed but I was also just debating in my head what do I do like there was so much good stuff look at their mum jeans I really like the look of them. I'm debating in my head now do I like get loads of stuff. These are the type of pants that I always wear. £9, like a wide leg, ribbed, long pants. I literally have like a similar pair on today. I'm in love with the clothing stuff here. Look at that. You fucking joking me, 20 quid. Can you believe this fluffy coat's only 20 quid? I've got a black one that I got from Pull and Bear and I honestly paid about £50 for it. I can't believe how cheap this stuff is. What the hell? I'm actually in shock this little cute serving board i really like this it'd be so good for parties and stuff i really like the home range in pep and co this is really nice little canisters gray if you like that and i like this oh happy days oh and this one would match really nice for my kitchen because i have a navy kitchen i really like this okay guys it's happening i have a basket full of pep and co clothes do we or do we not think I am the first silly twat to go into Poundland and, spell and spend £140? Think anybody's ever done that before? Well, I did. I went in and I spent £140. But to be fair, it was a lot of it on clothes, which obviously clothes is higher than, like, the price of a pound stuff. Um, but Pep and Co, what are you doing? Like, are you the new Zara? Are you the new Primark? Because Pep and Co are going to need their own shop soon. I am not joking when I say the stuff they had is unreal. I'm going to go home and say how much I got and I'm either going to fill them a full clothing haul or I'm going to fill them a real clothing haul. I'm not sure yet. I think with clothing hauls, like a lot of the time, a full video, like a clothing haul on YouTube doesn't do that well anymore. Like I don't think people are interested in that. But I love doing real ones, so maybe it will be a real one. I haven't quite decided yet. I need to go home and assess how much stuff I've got. But let me tell you, it's so trendy, so cheap, so nice that I was shocked. I spent 140 quid, but that's all right. I did get some stuff for Sean as well. I got some wrapping paper and like a few little stock and fillery bits. So that's exciting. Now, I need to go into JD. I just want to see if there's anything else. Maybe some like joggers or like bits and bobs like that that I can get them. So I'm going to go to JD, have a look in there, see if there's any other extra bits that I can get them. And yeah. I'm just really struggling. I feel like we've been together 10 years this year and it's just becoming a bit daunting. Like, there's only so much shower gel link set I can fucking get the lad, bless him. I feel like, you know, he never really knows what he wants either. So it's a bit like, I don't know what to get you. I don't know. Okay, guys, so I'm back at home now. Happy to let you know. I did get some extra stuff for Sean and JD. I need to have a proper sort out of his stuff this week, though, and just see if I think, like, I've got enough for him. And just see if I think I've got enough for him and, yeah, see if it's acceptable. Because he's very judgmental of his gifts. Even though I wonder every single year why I bother putting so much effort into his gifts. Because if I asked him, what did I get you for your birthday last year? He'll have forgot. Like, he won't remember. So I feel sometimes, like, why am I putting all this effort in when he doesn't even bloody remember? what i got him but he's worth it um i do love him a bit and he does a lot for us so even if it doesn't last in his brain long hopefully he still enjoys his presents that is going to be the end of the come shop with me though i really hope you enjoyed it if you would like to see more videos like this one let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe and let's all comment shopping addict below that is going to be 
the secret phrase of today's video. If you got to this part, please comment shop an addict below. And I appreciate you all so much. And I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye!